and it's a warning that sexual perversion can destroy humanity. It's a warning to stay away from sexual perversion, which is something, unfortunately, our world is diving into head first right now. So I want to talk about something here. It was a uh, discovery in 1994, and it's kind of mysterious because they don't know exactly who did this or what the meaning was. So I wanted to um, give my take on this discovery of the Chauvet cave painting, Chauvet. So if you know anything about languages and stuff, you know Chauvet, that kind of sounds French. And it is. This These uh, cave paintings are in France and they were discovered by some explorers that were going down into a cave to see what was there and they were amazed when they found these ancient paintings and when they've got experts in there they say oh these are 20 or 30 thousand years old which I don't believe because that doesn't line up with the age of the earth according to the Bible but these paintings are down there and there's a lot of them and uh, the detail of the paintings, f for something that's prehistoric, uh, it's pretty good details. And they have various theories. They say, is it in regards to magic? Is it telling history or, or what's going on? But I want to give my, my thoughts on some of the paintings down there. Now, most of the paintings are of animals. There's very few depictions of humans. There are, there's one, uh, piece of art where it's a bunch of handprints and uh, there's some other like small paintings of, of people but it's mostly humans and it's mostly predatory or I'm not mostly humans it's mostly animals and it's mostly predatory uh, animals that are painted on these these cave walls and so the reason that's interesting is because they are considered dangerous right predatory animals could be dangerous to human beings and so it's interesting that they they painted um something that's dangerous because they also seem to depict a natural disaster a volcano and i'll talk about that a little bit more later in the video but they also um painted a natural disaster like a volcano that could be dangerous to human beings so i want to set the stage i guess with showing that one of the themes that appears to be in this ancient artwork is warnings okay a warning against something that could be dangerous now the first thing i want to deal with is the painting of rhinos like i said this is up in france and rhinos don't live in france and yet the people these prehistoric people knew about rhinos that's one of the things that's mysterious to the archaeologist how did these ancient peoples know about the rhino well I think this could be explained from a biblical perspective a couple ways. Number one, we know that at one time the earth was essentially under a climate of summertime year-round. Okay, before the flood, they, they had year-round summer. And that would mean that you could have animals that wouldn't normally dwell as far north up in Europe, um, up in France, like a rhinoceros, wouldn't normally be there, but in a warmer climate they may have gone up there. And so it's possible that these people knew about it from before the flood. But then the question would be, how come these paintings didn't get destroyed in the flood? You see, they might have been destroyed. So another possible answer from the Bible for this is that when Ham, Shem, and Japheth split out from, from Noah's Ark, right? All the animals came on Noah's Ark, which would include rhinos. And then they spread out. And when the Japhethites, because they would have gone up, eventually up to where France is, when they went up and they maybe made these paintings way, way back, maybe not too long after the uh, the flood was over and they went out from the ark, perhaps they did these paintings because they wanted to preserve a knowledge of the animals that they knew about. And and in the new climate, maybe those animals didn't come forward and they, they painted them on there. Perhaps, 
uh, there was a warning there that if you ever go to a place where these animals live, they're dangerous. We don't have those animals around here, but if you go south to where uh, our our ancient relatives, the Hamites, or or, or uh, even some of the Shemites where they live, you, they have these rhinos there, and they could be dangerous. So perhaps uh, the rhino paintings and those prehistoric rhino paintings in France lend support to the idea of there being a one-world system in the ancient days, okay, which I believe was knocked out by the flood, and then they were supposed to spread out again. And, of course, the Tower of Babel happened in all the different languages, and that kind of forced the ones that said, we're not going to spread out like God said, we're going to stay together, that uh, the Tower of Babel forced them, the different languages forced them then to do what God said and, and spread out and not have a one-world system. So that that's kind of concludes the first point, dealing with that rhino. How did they know about it? Well, if, if they... Uh, were closer in history at the time that these things were painted. Maybe Noah's Ark was only a hundred years or two hundred years or you know just a few hundred years before the painting of that. So they knew about those animals that didn't live in the region of France. That could be number two. Now it gets more interesting. There is a depiction of what they believe to be a volcano. Okay, here's some images of that. Okay, so you, you see the images. They have, you know, the red up there coming down. There's another place where there's like red dots and a hand uh, is among those red dots. They said this looks like some sort of natural disaster. They're warning about a natural disaster. And it could be a volcano, they think, like there was fire. But here's the thing. If it was... If it's a volcano, you know, you're going to have an eruption and you're going to have all the smoke and stuff. And I don't really notice that as much. Uh, what it looks like to me is like little balls of fire coming down rather than a flow of, of lava from a volcano eruption or something like that. It's more like there's just these red things up there coming down and the hand indicates that maybe there's a person dying from this. Could it be that these paintings are actually preserving the history of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah? But perhaps that is what it could be. That's what came to my mind when I first heard about these things and I listened to a uh, podcast about it and, and looked up the paintings myself to kind of see it. I said, I think that could be a depiction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, of course, the archaeologists would scoff at that because they would say that these are two totally, these paintings are from uh, tens of thousands of years ago and that wouldn't line up with when Sodom was destroyed. But if we're going to stick to biblical dating for the age of the earth, I think it's very possible these ancient peoples would have known, perhaps, they would have known about the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, and they were putting that. Remember, the initial point I made is that these paintings contained warnings of something that's destructive to people. And so they could have been depicting God's destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, fire and brimstone coming down from the sky and killing people, that hand there. Um, perhaps... This is a depiction of Sodom. I don't know that for sure. I'm just speculating like everybody else. This is a, These Chauvet paintings are, are a mystery. So I'm just speculating like anyone else. This is my take uh, as a Bible believer on what those paintings could be about. Now, the last point I want to talk about, and I'm not going to show you this painting. When I saw it, I didn't even know what I was looking at. I had to read what they said it was to understand. But what it is, is it's a bison Okay, you've got a bison with legs, human legs. So it's half human, half animal. And it is uh, a woman's legs there. Okay, that's another reason why I don't want to show it because it, you know, it's inappropriate, I think, in a video like this and a channel like this, Bible Issues, I don't want to put on uh, some kind of a picture like that. Even though when I, when I first saw the picture, I didn't even know what I was looking at. But anyway, so that's what they say it is. It's a, a bison with woman's legs. I said, well, that's interesting because what that does, is, well, there's two possibilities. We know about the uh, paintings in Egypt of the animal people, okay? And you say, is this the result of demons and people uh, cohabiting and creating this crossbred uh, type of creatures? Maybe. Um, that's assuming that the uh, demons that crossbred with them had animal characteristics, which maybe they did. But something else it could be suggesting there 
is the sexualization of animals, bestiality. Perhaps there was a warning there. We know from the Bible that um, there were cultures that the Jews took over and God said, kill everything, including the animals. It's all unclean, indicating that there was even sexual perversion going on with the animals. Now, like I said, and that's why it was important in the beginning, the paintings in the, the Chauvet Caves there seem to, the main thing seems to be warnings. These are destructive things that can harm people. So, perhaps that woman bison there is a depiction of sexual perversion. And it's a warning that sexual perversion can destroy humanity. It's a warning to stay away from sexual perversion, which is something, unfortunately, our world is diving into head first right now. Now, I don't know for sure if that's what these different paintings represent. Um, it's just my theory, but uh, when, I, when I go from a biblical perspective and I bring that into the arena, looking at these, these fairly recently discovered paintings, like I said, it was, it was in 1994 that they, they happened across this in France. Uh, when we look at it from a biblical perspective, I think perhaps it lends support to some things that we believe as Bible believers.